In this video, we're going to be going over everything you need to get started in plinking for cheap. So everything on this table, actually, I was even, even my pocket knife is from Walmart. Uh, so all this stuff's Walmart. It's all very affordable. Uh, we'll get started with the actual rifle itself. This is a Ruger 1022, and it's funny because when about a few years ago, but when the the manager they just put up a tag it was i think 180 189 dollars i was like is that really 189 should get yeah. i was like I'll, I'll take it then so pay around 200 bucks that's a pretty good 22 there's cheaper ones get for like 100 bucks and then ammo about 20 bucks this target was 20 is like 18 this was like 25 these have like uh little steel targets and then I have that as my shooting vice. I, I think they have them there. And then I have an optic rail on there. I took it off just because I'm trying to make sure that just just getting started. And if you have a nice little spot where you can set everything up, this is my backyard. Uh, as far as like shooting ranges, it's not the same as hunting. You don't need to be. 200 yards away at least in my state of pennsylvania your bolt has to stop within 15 yards of where you're shooting and then 45 degrees on either side but i mean like <laughs> yeah my house is there and then i got a neighbor over there and then other guys like down there and there's you know i just shoot my 22 and pistols back here and then my bmg Maybe I'll walk up, show you. We've got pond up there, right past it, because I gotta get a couple things. Maybe I'll show you that. But I'll get these set up, and then we'll just do some shooting real quick and show you how to get started shooting. I forgot to mention that everything here is about 250 bucks. So for 250 bucks, you know, I get stuff nice little set. This is really good how to learn how to shoot iron sights. When I was a kid, man, I shot so many BB guns and 22s. That's how you get good. You know, I'm just working on it. <laughs> some of them are farther away, some are a little bit closer, but uh, that was just iron sights. Like I said, you just gotta practice. Uh, so, this one, you don't have to stake it in the ground, that kind of holds it there. But since I'm just leaving these up here, uh, it'll be fine there. So, we'll get loaded up and do some shooting. So, yeah, my shooting range is right there, and then this is my neighbor's pond, <clears throat> and then we usually shoot the 50 BMG. Close to that windmill in between there. That's uh, where the redneck range is. Just to give you a little tour. I should have said, uh, make sure you spend, spend an extra couple bucks for some uh, hearing protection too, and safety glasses. Neither of which I have or use ever. But, do as I say, don't do as I do. All right, so. Drop some beer cans. All right, let's try our targets here. Let's try the crow first. Oh yeah, she works good. Wow. I'm surprised it made that spinner flip that hard. I hit it almost dead center too. That's one thing nice about these Ruger 1022s. They shoot so good. empty all right so yeah uh i think this shoots a little left i do believe i can't remember but anyway so yeah there it is i'll do just a little bit more shooting here and just nice to get out and relax and get into plinking man that's, that's the best practice ever it's just iron sights small targets there them targets are pretty small so the crow would probably be better for beginners but that's good uh to learn on there okay so yeah that gun's hit to the right i meant the target held up good didn't chew it up too bad so yeah it's too very smell like alcohol